Hey guys, welcome to the 10th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at something I don't know what they're called, so I'm just going to call them voids. And what these voids do is they give you a place to store your code. So if you use the same code more than once in your program, instead of having to copy and paste that code and put it like in two different spots, what you can do is you can just reference that code that you stored more than once. And you're probably confused, so I'm just going to show you. What you're going to want to do is you need two buttons on your form. And then just double click the first button. So I'll give you this. Now instead of putting code right here for right now, we're going, to, we're going to need to put a place to store the code that we want to reference. So just double click on your enter key and go down here and type private void. And then put two parentheses. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to name your void something. I'm going to call it show message. And then you're going to want, want to put two French curly braces down. And then inside these two French curly braces, you, you can type your code that you want to store. I'm going to store something simple. It'll just be a message box. Message box dot show. And then whatever your message you want your message to be. I'm just going to make it hello. Alright, and then what we're going to want to do is we can type show message here. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll do the show message void. So it'll do this code. And if we want to have it do this code more than once, we just double click button 2. We just do show message. So now when we click both button 1 and button 2, it will do this code. So we'll click this, it'll say hello. If we click message 2, it'll also say hello. Now, say we want to be able to change what um, just one little thing in our code, such as the message that shows up. What we can do is inside these two parentheses here, we can create a new string and call it whatever we want. I'm going to call it message. Alright, and then inside these two parentheses, we type the string message. So now, whenever you want to reference your code, you type the string that you want to be in this message box right inside here. I'm going to make it say hello one and in this it's going to be hello two all right now we debug when we click this button it should say hello one yes and then we click this button it should say hello two yes now say you want to have two strings right in this private void that you want to be able to change so what you're going to want to do that is you're going to want to create a new string by using a comma and typing string and then whatever you want your string to be called. I'm just going to call it the title of the message box because that, that'll, that's really the only thing you can do in changing a message box is just the title and the message. So to change the title you just put a comma and write title, the string title. So now when we want to reference this code right here we're going to need two things inside the parentheses, the message and the title. And the message obviously comes first because that is where we um, put it in this, these two, th these set of parentheses. So just put a comma and then whatever you want the title to be. See it says string message, string title. So we're just going to type in what we want the title of it to be. Well, I'll just make it say H1 for hello1. And this one I will call H2 for hello2. Now, windy debug. Click this. H1, hello1 h2 hello2 now you can do this for integers you, or i mean right here you can change these you can have them be integers bytes doubles any variable now um one more thing we're going to look at today is um a very very common error and what that error is is if you delete like the code that was generated when you double click button and you try debug you'll get an error so now if we see this error, it just says um, form 1 does not contain a definition for button to click. And this is a retarded. I do not understand why Microsoft didn't just self-fix these errors. So we have to go in and manually delete them from the designer code. And to do that, all you have to do is double click on the error and it will take you to that code. And all you have to do is just delete this line right here. And then you're set to go. There, you have no errors. And now when you click button t message two, the button button two, you, you'll get you'll get nothing, which you obviously deleted that code. That's why. So yeah. Um, if you have any um, 
I mean, I mean, I know this like void thing is kind of hard to grasp. I um, I I had some problems learning it myself. It took me like two weeks to really understand it. So if you have any like, if you want me to, like explain this better or something, just send me a message on YouTube or leave a comment. And I'll do my best to answer it. So until next time, see you guys.